Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana with Pragmatic Works, and in collaboration with MAQ Software, we're going to be taking a look at their custom visual known as the Tree Map Bar Chart by MAQ Software. Now, this awesome and amazing visual allows us to look at hierarchical data within rectangles and boxes in the form of either a bar chart or a column chart, depending on our orientation decision. As well, this custom visual does work nicely with bookmarks report page tooltips, drill throughs, as well as cross filtering. All the things that we know and love about Power BI completely functions with this fantastic custom visual. So let's take a moment and dive in and look at exactly how the tree map bar chart by MAQ software works. Perfect. So here we can see the custom visual tree map bar chart by MAQ software and we get a first presentation. So as we can tell, we have in this case, as we mentioned, uh, rectangles or boxes in the form of, in this case, a column chart depicting hierarchical data. Now, of course, we can see that the size of the rectangles and as well the gradients, they act as a performance indicator. So we have that element already in play. And when we select the visual just to look, we have, as you can see, an access to map, legend, sub legend, value, and tooltip. The mandatory fields are going to be the access, legend, and value. These are necessary, and once populated, they're going to go ahead and your visual will illustrate. So naturally, the access is going to be some sort of categorical value, the legend as well. This will be kind of splitting our various categories into colors, depending on what they are listed as. Um, then the value itself is going to dictate the size and the opacity of the bricks when we add in potentially the sub legend. So the sub legend further breaks down our legend. But remember, sub legend is just optional. As well as with other visuals that we uh, expect, we do have access of adding additional properties into the tooltip. But as we can see, the tooltip functions exactly as noted. And later on, we'll see that we can leverage actually report page tooltips as well. Now, speaking of this, let's look at a couple of the key features that we can do with this custom visual. Within the orientation, as we can see, by selecting the visual and going over here into the display area, the formatting area, we can choose the orientation. And upon going in here, we can choose either between vertical or horizontal. So in this scenario, when we choose vertical, we see the representation as you see just now, and this is gonna be in your traditional column chart format. Going down and choosing horizontal gives us this presentation as you can see below, and it is gonna be similar to a bar chart. You can see our axis switches in the vertical, it is the X axis, while in the horizontal or the traditional bar chart, it is on the Y axis. Our axis is just listed here. As well, we have some fantastic functionality known as animation. This is gonna be equivalent to what we know as drill down capabilities. So as we can see, and we can work and actually create traditional drill downs, but as we can see and look in here, if we select the visual under the display options once again you have this option for animation by turning this on when you select within a very specific in this case legend or category so in this case the top here would be the west you're going to see it zooms in to that top level of that hierarchy if we go now and click on something again concord it focuses and brings this to attention so when you want to go move through different levels of granularity animation is a great option Selecting anywhere outside of this actual, in this case, column goes up one level. And then if I click it again, it goes out to another level. So this could be done in multiple. So let's say I wanted to do that. I wanted to go down to Concord here. And then within this actual country, Maricopa, I can go into Phoenix and let's say Scottsdale. As I click out of the chart, you can see we're reverting. We're going up in that tier of hierarchy. An awesome, fantastic capability. Something that we know and love when it comes to bar charts is of course the capability of using labels. You can see it with any of the ones we've chosen here. If we select the visual, go into the display area, you can see you have a totals area just here on this section. We can change the color, the presentation, the size of it, and most importantly as well, you can adjust the display units if you wanna have the full amount displaying for in this case, our bars. Data labels, as you can see, is as well something that we can turn on and off. It is also found in the display area simply by toggling this and we have complete and full control over all formatting elements in regards to those data labels if and when we want to use those. As well, you do have a toggle that allows you to turn on and off 
a background to make that label be a little more pronounced in certain scenarios. Really cool and intuitive. Additional formatting settings that can be really neat, of course, is gonna be around borders. You can see on this left-hand side, we're leveraging a stronger border and we're um, increasing, we're decreasing its opacity. So on the left-hand side, once again, we go into the format area. When we go to border, you can choose stroke color and you can choose the width and opacity. So this one we can see we've chosen this kind of sky blue and we've given it a little more width. You can notice as we increase this value, you get this more significant width here. If you go lower, there's less pronunciation. So we went a little bit higher here. And then also, how, op how opaque do we want it to be? So zero being the lowest value here. So I can just remove this as such. And you can see there's no presentation. We can't really see the color at all. And then we can go to one, making it completely kind of solid there. So you can kind of work within a range that you decide when it comes to this formatting section. Now as well, when we come to context menus, what we're referring to is that capability of right clicking and getting a context menu. And what we're gonna see right now is the capability of it working with drill throughs. So in this scenario, you'll see that I have a tab just down here at the bottom called drill through. It is hidden as usually some drill through reports are done. So it's been a simple table that's accepting this respective drill through filter, city and region. But now any of these, if we're using this custom visual, if we right click, it's present and available within that context menu and I can just drill through it and it brings along and carries those filters. It leverages the drill through functionality as we know it seamlessly. As well, if we create and leverage a report tooltip as seen in here, following the standard format for creating a report tooltip, if you'd like to do it, you can see the steps are available in this sample file. But now instead of the traditional tooltip, we're actually showing a report page tooltip instead. So rather than leveraging a sub legend in here as we have before, I'm effectively using the sub legend with inside of a report page tooltip, which is really neat, really fun in the whole concept of digital storytelling. It just kind of is a fun way to kind of illustrate and show visuals in a different way. And once again, this custom visual fully takes advantage of that. So that right there, a quick fun look at the tree map bar chart by MAQ software. And I thank you for watching our video. And if you have any questions about this visual or need a similar business solution, feel free to contact MAQ software at sales at maqsoftware.com. As well, for any of your Power BI training needs, be sure to reach out to us at PragmaticWorks by emailing training at pragmaticworks.com. Take care.